So microblading is a wonderful and popular technique that skin estheticians are using to fill the eyebrows. The idea is to make them look fuller, cover the patches while looking like it was real hair. When we are retouching, uh, we take careful consideration into filling the eyebrows. So today, I'm going to show you how to do digital microblading when you retouch. Let's get started. All right, guys. So we're here in the image, and um, this is this is a very good image because we have the um, beauty component. So it's a it's a close up, and uh, I mean it's a I think it's a good example for us to to work on this technique. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna evaluate what the what the image needs. So if we get a little bit closer. We're going to see that uh, although she has very good populated uh, eyebrows, um, there are some areas, you know, where we can fill a little bit, you know, or make it, you know, look a little bit more organized, uh, more aesthetical, which in the end, that's what we're looking for. So uh, what I'm going to do, I create a new layer. Okay. And... Um, the first way I'm going to do it is just using the basic uh, components of the brush uh, here in Photoshop. So what we're going to do, we go here to the general brushes. <clears throat> we're going to choose a soft round um, thickness. It's going to be probably about mm, 5 to 10 percent. And we're going to go down to one pixel one pixel will be enough okay then i'm gonna choose smoothing same thing around 10 percent um and the flow is actually going to be 100 percent. i'm going to have it really really um like drawing a line basically sorry so Let's see what that's doing. I'm gonna actually uh, sample the color from from this. Let's see what it's doing. You see? Okay. What if we smooth it a little bit more? Say 40. Okay, 40 is too much. So somewhere around 15 will be will be the one. Okay. So, with that being said, um, I already have my layer, and uh, I'm going to just rotate this, you know, and I'm going to follow the same direction that the hair is growing. So, I do little traces like this, maybe example a little bit more, boom. Okay, and as you can see, sometimes some of the strokes could be a little bit stronger, but that's fine because we have control over it, and that's exactly, exactly what we need. We need to have that, that control because later we can just take those uh, strokes, you know, which will be hair, uh, we can take them out or we can just like polish them a little bit more and leave them there. But in the end, we're looking to have a more populated wrap. You see, so I have a little bit more in here. Try to be careful here um, at the beginning. The reason being this area usually has little, you know, um, lonely hairs, you know, on their own. <clears throat> and that's just how it is. That's how we humans have our, our brow. So try not to populate it too much or, or to be too thick or to be um, too dark. Try to sample some, some of the areas or some of the colors. Uh, close to it that are not as dark 
as, as for example here in the middle uh, because otherwise it'll start looking a little bit fake and we don't want that <laughs> We have some that you know start from here. I don't know. These are like happy hairs. This was Bob Ross. <laughs> I don't know, but there you go. I mean, she already has a very good populated uh, eyebrow, so we don't really need to go super super crazy. It's just that for. Uh, you know, the beauty world, we need to shape it a little bit more. You know. Let me see the before and after. There we go. That's good. So let's go out and let's see what we did. Yeah. That looks pretty nice. So as I was saying, um, you know, maybe on this side it was a little bit too dark for me, and maybe uh, on this other side it was the same thing. So what I can do, I can come here and create a, a mask, then get um, get the brush and go with the flow till around I don't know two three percent. I'm gonna take the smoothing out. Okay, and um, I just mask that area. You know, so it's not that strong, you know, and I don't need to deal with uh, with the opacity. It's just creating a mask gives me more and more and more control. All right, and then if I bring down the opacity, I can bring it to around I don't know, seven, seventy-five or so. Then in that case, it'll look like it's the real hair. Sometimes what I do is just uh, add a little bit of uh, Gaussian blur. Not too much. Even. I mean, not even one. Um, just a little bit. Point two. Yeah. That sounds about right. Let me just... Work a little bit more on this mask. Because when it's a little bit more blurry, you know, sometimes the each hair is a little bit blurry. It's not completely, completely uh, sharp. Especially because what? We're at 300% here. I mean, the image is not going to be at that, you know, that close. So it could be a little bit blurred and uh, it wouldn't be so noticeable. So that is the, the simplest way to do the microblading here in Photoshop, okay? Then after this, you can do other, uh, other techniques like the, the dodging and burning, you know, to add some contrast to it. Uh, let's see, if we go here, let's say it's dodging and burning. And we do it um, you know, let's say we want more contrast. Uh, let's say we, we like it dark. Ooh, sorry. Uh, hardness let's go to zero. Flow it's it's at it's at three percent, but maybe here in this area. Just want a little bit, you know. I don't know, just a little bit. That's probably too much. But you know, it just like um, makes it a little bit bolder. <coughs> and um, of course, it's going to stick out. It depends on, on wh where you're taking your image. But um, but yeah, um, you have all the versatility in the world and you have all the, the, the control over it, basically. Uh, because you have the masking here that you can bring back the, the elements, you know, that were masked out or not. Plus you have the opacity, you know, that you can control. Um, and then if you do the dodge and burn, uh, of course, 
can manipulate all the way you want. Uh, so basically this is going to be the, the microblading in Photoshop for you guys. If you like this video, consider sharing with your friends. If there are some questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.